This is the HP Victus 16, and it is what I call the more affordable Omen 15. In fact, I'm going to be making a lot of comparisons to the Omen just because if you're looking at this, you might be considering the other two, and you're not sure whether you should spend more or spend less on a gaming laptop. But before I do, quick shout out to Best Buy for sponsoring this portion of the video. They still have the GeoBook 12.5 inch in stock. This is a $260 Windows laptop that comes pre-installed with Minecraft and a one-year subscription to Office 365. If you know someone or have a child who's obsessed with Minecraft and is going back to school, this is a great candidate for them. It's affordable, it has everything you need to get started, it even has a 1080p webcam, tons of ports, and it's super light to carry. If you're interested in checking it out, there'll be a link in the description down below. The Victus design looks a lot like the Omens. It has this black aesthetic. There's some sort of logo in the middle. They're using the V for their Victus lineup. In fact, I actually dig the look of this. And then you have the Victus words on the bottom bar at the back. They, they look and feel a lot alike, even though like the materials are slightly different. There's just so many similarities in terms of design. The difference comes down to the way these things are created. And the Victus doesn't have a gap between the top panel and the deck of the keyboard, whereas the Omen 15 does. This was a major complaint last year. A lot of people felt that the gap would allow their laptop screen to break if too much stuff was placed on top of it. I did a bunch of experiments and found out that was not the case at all. But to be a little more cautious, HP decided to put these rubber feet on the deck of the keyboard so that when the display closes, it rests a bit more flush with the laptop. Now, if you were to press down on the top of these lids, the Omen 15 lid is a bit squishier, and it should be because there's a gap between. But I still think this can be an advantage in some ways because if you're someone who docks their laptop closed, that gap does allow a bit more airflow in. Both the Omen and the Victus can be opened up with one hand, but as you saw there, the Victus deck lifts up a tiny bit when you open the lid. And I wanted to point this out because it shows that the hinge is very stiff. But as soon as you get to the back, it loosens up a little bit. One of the major complaints with the Victus was that the screen was super wobbly. And it absolutely is. If wobble is going to drive you crazy, then the Victus is going to wobble. Do I think the hinge is too loose or going to cause issues in the future? No, it's very stiff. In fact, I found it to be a bit more stiff than the Omen. The Omen wobbles too, but not nearly as much as the Victus. The keyboard layout are, is very identical in terms of like the font and the travel distance and the backlighting. Like both are only using white backlighting, but you do have the option to buy RGB with the Omen 15, whereas the Victus, you do not. There's a full size numeric keypad with the Victus, whereas on the Omen, they just throw in a bunch of macro keys and like the home and end key. Touchpad on both laptops are a bit different. The Victus does have a bigger touchpad since the deck of the keyboard is bigger, but the touchpad on the Omen is better to use. It doesn't click as deep. Like I find there to be a pretty extensive gap between the top of the touchpad and the deck of the keyboard. And if you're clicking on this, consistently it's a bit loud if you're in class and you're like some sort of clicking raging maniac the dude beside you is going to get annoyed whereas the the distance on the omen is not as significant so it's not nearly as loud the display on the victus stops right here whereas on the omen 15 it goes flush against the table you can open it all the way the intake grills on both laptops are pretty much identical the keyboard flex is more significant on the Victus due to the bigger chassis. So it's just normal that it would be more flexible, but the displays are quite different. Like the Victus panel, even though it's a 16 inch display, it's bigger, it's just not as good. You know, it has very poor color saturation compared to the Omen. And I wouldn't trust this for design work. If you're just gaming on it, absolutely fine. But if you're trying to do any sort of creative work and you need accurate colors, I'd be more susceptible to use the Omen instead. The bezel sizes, the thinness is exactly the same on both laptops and they both have the same type of quality webcam. The ports are also fairly similar. The only difference is that uh, the USB type C port on the Omen is on the right hand side, but all the other ports on the left hand side are the same. You have the RJ45 port, it's using this little flap. Please be careful when you're connecting stuff to it. This can break quite easily. You do have a USB port type C. This is not Thunderbolt 4. And no, you cannot charge the laptop using type C. Same with the Omen. I tested this out myself. It does not work. You have a headphone jack, SD card slot, 
And then on the right side, on both laptops, you have two more USB ports. The only major difference is that with the Yeoman, you get a mini display port that connects directly to the dedicated GPU. Both of these laptops have vents on the bottom. The cool thing about the Victus is you get the V-shape logo, which is like between the vents. I thought that was a nice touch. Whereas on the Omen, you have the writing just below it. The speakers are on the bottom and quite frankly, they're just not that great. I was playing Warzone, I can barely hear footsteps. Like footsteps in Warzone are already bad enough, but this just made it much worse. So if you're doing any gaming, put on headphones, you'll, you'll notice a massive difference. Performance is going to be different on these laptops. You have to remember the Victus is $799, which is $100 off right now on sale at Best Buy from $899. And that gets you an i5 11400H 6 core Intel CPU, 8 gigabytes of RAM, RTX 3050, 80 watts. You have that 16 inch, 16 by 9, 1080p, 144 hertz display paired with a 512 gigabyte NVMe SSD. Whereas the Omen, you get a Ryzen 5 5600H. 16 gigabytes of RAM, an RTX 3060, which runs at 100 watts, and a 15 inch, 144 hertz display that happens to be more color accurate. But the price point is closer to $1,200. Look, there's no way to put it. If you're gaming on these laptops, the 3060 is obviously faster. You're looking at 30 frames per second in most games that I tested. The only game where there was a small difference was Warzone, because Warzone is the worst optimized game in history. This got 80 frames per second, and the 3060 got 90 frames per second. But the thing is, 30 frames is a lot, you know? And if you're someone who's a hardcore gamer, that 3060 is going to last you a lot longer. If you're not a hardcore gamer and you're just getting into it, the 3050 is more than capable. Like there was no game out there where I feel like I couldn't play it. You know, sometimes on the newer, more demanding titles, I had to drop the settings down to maybe medium, but overall it can handle most titles at high settings. Now, if you're a content creator and you're gonna be using the CPU a lot, there's not that much of a difference. In synthetics, the Victus did run a bit slower when it came to multi-core speeds, but because this is an Intel CPU, it tended to have the faster single core clock speeds. As for fan noise, both of these laptops are very similar, like they get around the same fan noise, you know, like this one, for example, can go up to 55 decibels if you leave it on performance mode and the fans on auto. Now there is one cool thing about the Victus that the Omen can't do, and that's the fact you can undervolt this. There's two options, custom under the command center where you can do the undervolting yourself or intelligent mode. I tried undervolting it myself, and every time I did, the laptop would just crash. It wouldn't let me do it. Doesn't matter how low I did it, uh, even at the extreme, it just wouldn't let me. The only time I got the undervolting to work is when I put it on intelligent mode. It crashed a couple of times, but then it finally kicked in, and I was able to undervolt it by 28. <laughs> Heat is also great on these laptops. Thermal management from on the Victus and the Omen 15 is fantastic. The internals of both laptops are fairly similar. With the Omen 15, you get bigger blades and slightly bigger fans, but you also get one extra heat pipe that runs below the left fan on the bottom. The RAM is upgradable on both, up to 64 gigabytes, but the Omen 15, at least my unit, has rank eight memory, whereas the Victus is using rank 16. They both have two slots for NVMe SSDs. The only difference though, is that the Victus is using an Intel CPU, so technically you can put PCIe Gen 4 SSDs inside of here, which tend to have faster read and write speeds. The battery size is identical on both, about 71 watt hours. I got four and a half hours of use on the Victus compared to only three hours on the Omen, which is very weird because it's using a Ryzen processor and they tend to offer better battery life. So something's definitely going on there. The Omen has a soldered on Wi-Fi card, whereas the Victus is swappable. So if that's something you plan to upgrade in the future, you can do that with the Victus. But would I buy the Victus? I think I would. Like if I was just getting into gaming and I was on a super tight budget and I had to buy something under a thousand dollars for $799, this offers a lot value. I've tested a lot of other $799 gaming laptops and usually there's a lot more compromises. I feel like HP did a pretty good job of balancing things out. I understand the display can get quite wobbly and that can annoy you. And of course the, the, panel quality itself in terms of color saturation is not the best but i think for the price point 
it offers a great way to start gaming. Now, obviously, if you can wait and find a deal on the 3060 Omen 15, I suggest you do that instead because that 3060 is going to last you a lot longer. Plus, you get the better display and a slightly lighter laptop. If you're interested in checking any of these laptops out, there'll be links in the description down below. Remember, this is $100 off right now. So if you're looking for a deal, you might want to take advantage of it. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one.